Greetings fam and welcome back to another great video on our channel. People develop at different rates in soccer like in any other sport. Some players are just unable to play at the most outstanding level until they're far into their 20s. In contrast, others may have the physical ability but lack the mental characteristics during their formative years. Here are 5 soccer players who started playing late. Number 5. Fabio Grosso When he was 27, the world champion Italian defender signed a contract with Palermo. He was an important member of the team and two years later, Marcelo Lippi, the Italian manager, took him to the 2006 World Cup. Grosso scored the first of Italy's two goals in the World Cup final, which they will face Germany in. He scored the final penalty of the series in the final against France a week later, giving Italy its fourth World Cup triumph. Internazionale de Mont, Olympique de Lyon and Juventus were among his clubs. He rose to the position of manager and was responsible for the training of the Hellas Verona and Brescia teams in Italy. Number 4. Ruud van Nistelrooy The Dutch attacker spent four years in the Dutch second division with FC Den Bosch. Ruud van Nistelrooy started as a fullback. His first game in the first squad ended in a humiliating 5-1 defeat and following that, he began to play outside of his box. PSV Eindhoven signed him when he was 22 years old. He won the Netherlands Super Cup against Ajax in his first season at the club and finished the Eredivisie as the top goal scorer. His outstanding achievements landed him in England, signed for $25 million by Manchester United. With the Red Devils, he won the Premier League, the Community Shield, the FA Cup and the Football League Club. After that, he joined Real Madrid for $15 million. Playing with the Capital Squad, he won two Spanish Leagues and a Spanish Super Cup. He began his career with Hamburg SV in Germany and finished with Malaga in Spain. Number 3. Dato Piarzo At 21, the Croatian international Dato Piarzo worked as a car mechanic and played soccer part-time. He scored one goal for FC Rouen in the French third tier when he was 23. He won a national championship with Monaco in French League 1 when he was 25 years old. Piarzo was a member of the side that lost the 2003-4 Champions Cup final to Mourinho's Porto FC. The 8-3 victory over Spanish Deportivo La Coruña in which Piarzo scored 4 goals marked Monaco's unprecedented presence in the European Championship. In the competition's history, that contest set the record for most goals in a single match. He was one of the leading goal scorers in the 2003-4 Champions Cup. AC Milan was interested in hiring him after he did well in the competition. Piarzo made his Croatian national team debut at the age of 29, scoring the goal that qualified Croatia for the 2003 Euro, which was held in Portugal. Davor Suka, the reason for his late inclusion in the Croatian squad, has a name. With Davor Suka out of the picture, the Euro Cup provided Piarzo with his first chance to flourish for Portugal. Number 2. Miroslav Klose Miroslav Klose, while playing for FC Hamburg, a German 5th level team, worked as a builder and bricklayer for many years. In 1999, he transferred to Kaiserslautern and a year later, at the age of 22, he made his Bundesliga debut. He joined Werder Bremen four years after his debut, scoring 64 goals in 132 games. Miroslav Klose was crowned Germany's Footballer of the Year in 2006 after scoring the most goals in the Bundesliga and the World Cup. After such a huge success, Bayern Munich recruited him in 2007 and he formed a remarkable attacking partnership with Luka Toni. Klose got off to a good start against the Capitals team. In the first nine games, he scored 10 goals. Bayern Munich's fans flocked to him right away. For Bayern Munich, Klose won over six titles, including the Bundesliga. He also spent time in Lazio in Italy, where he finished his career. But it was while playing for the Mannschaft, Germany's national team, he earned his most prestigious honors. Miroslav Klose donned Germany's colors for the first time in 2001. In the 2002 World Cup qualifiers, Germany faced, Germany faced Albania. Klose scored the game-winning goal and the Germans won 2-1. Number 1. Luca Toni The Italian international played for Bayern Munich, Roma, Juventus and the Italian national team among others. 
Luca finished his career as the Italian Capo Cannoneer or top goal scorer at 38, scoring more goals than Carlos Chavez and Gonzalo Higuain that year. Tony made a Serie A debut for Fiorentina in 2005 when he was 28 years old. Modena FC, Empoli, Treviso, Vicenza, Brescia and Palermo were among his previous clubs. They are all in Serie B or C, Italy's second and third divisions. He had his greatest season in 2005-6 when he scored 31 goals. He won the Golden Boot, an award given by FIFA to the top scorer in each of the five main European leagues for the season. Some players, for various reasons, played at a low level or appeared unimpressive as teenagers, but later in their careers, sprang into life. If we missed out other players who started late in their careers that we didn't cover in this video, do let us know about it in the comments down below and we'll see you again in another video soon. Bye now!